Let's study the differences between orbit and orbital. So the first point under orbit is so an orbit is a well defined circular path around the nucleus in which the electrons revolve and for orbital so an orbital is a three dimensional space around the nucleus within which the probability of finding an electron is maximum and it is up to 90%. So let's move on to the second point. So an orbit represents the planar motion of electrons around the nucleus. So for an orbital it represents the three dimensional motion of electrons around the nucleus. Now the third point under orbit is so the concept of an orbit is not in accordance with the wave character of electrons and the uncertainty principle and for orbital the concept of an orbital is in accordance with the wave character of electrons and the uncertainty principle so the fourth point under orbit is all orbits are circular and disc like and for orbital so different orbitals have different shapes S orbital are spherically symmetric, P orbitals are dumbbell shaped and so on. Now let's move on to the fifth point. So orbits do not have any directional characteristics. But all orbitals except S has directional characteristics. Except the X S orbital, except the S orbital, all other orbitals have directional characteristics. So the sixth point says the maximum number of electrons in any given orbit is 2n square where n is the number of orbit while the maximum number of electrons in any orbital is 2. So this is the pictorial representation of an orbit it is also known as Bohr's orbit. Now the orbits are represented as k, l, m, n and so on and this is the nucleus. Now for orbital. So this is the orbital representation for each of this orbit that is the k shell for n equals to 1 this can be further divided into s subshell and similarly for n equals to 2 it has two subshells that is the s and the p for n equals to 3 we have three subshells which are s p and d now each of this s p d subshells or orbitals can be of different shapes the s orbital looks somewhat like this so as you can see s orbital is spherically symmetric as i mentioned above uh, only s orbital is s orbitals are spherically symmetric so this is what i meant s orbital is spherically symmetric now p orbital looks somewhat like this so p orbitals can be divided into further px py and pz and you can see that it is dumbbell shaped so these were the differences between orbit and orbital thank you